and I went down to the root cellar and I saw this jar. You see that? Good wow. morning. <sighs> this we used we gotta find Charlie. Sale. I'm using the trail. Why? Matt snowblowed this nice trail for us. Why are you walking through the deep snow? You're gonna get snow in your boots. Mm -hmm. I got some in my boots. Yeah, burr. Because we are loving all the snow. Kids were out yesterday sledding oh, and Charlie. playing in it. Here's Charlie. I think he's been waiting for us. Were you in your cozy house? He's not telling us. He won't tell us. Why not? He doesn't just don't want to. Oh, there's sleds if I want to sled. Um, I don't think I'm dressed for sledding. Let's feed the kitties. Oh, bird. there's Pixie. Oh, the two best cats in the world. Make the guys up, Pixie. Oh, I'm going to dump this frozen ice out. Um, is so cute. We found her. She is so cute. Pixie. Is that enough? So Pixie hasn't quite decided if her home is in the nice warm brooder area or this cat house cuddled up by Charlie. She seems to be going back and forth. So, wanna let dad out? Well, there he is. I think he's ready to go in already. You wanna go in the house? You can go in. You that cold? It's not even that cold. He got some snow in his boots. Pour yes, some water. No, it's not. It snowed so much yesterday. The top of their house has snow on it. This is crazy. Like that's under our like um, living room area. Oh my gosh, it's so cold out. And kind of tucked away like past the wood that we try to keep dry. It's just crazy. Where does that path lead to? I don't know. I'll do that. Oh, don't walk through that one. That's a kid's path. That one's going to get your boots all full of snow again. Oh, good morning, Piggy Poos. Oh, look at all those pumpkins, gourds, whatever they're called. <laughs> Over here. I think they're ready for you, dear. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Come on, Piggy. Alright, well he's doing that. Yeah? Woo, there was some water under there. How's that? You want me to pull it ice out? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I'm making a pile over here so we don't have to walk on that. Oh, I'm sorry. I purposely just made sure it was off of where it was going to sit. Kick it. Oh, so do dump out all the water. Yeah, yeah unless, if it's a thin layer of ice, then you can get away with it. Yeah, we can break it all. Alright, will you tell us what you're doing, Matt? I gotta give them some hay. It looks like they're getting a little low. What they do is, as it gets cold, they will go in their little hut and they lay down and they just eat hay. Mm -hmm. Hey. I was wondering, how did we do morning chores last winter? And then I remembered we didn't have pigs. Yep. So. Oh, I don't and we just had Charlie. That water. So I mean, we checked on the chickens, made sure their water and food was good. But yeah, really, we check on them every morning. right? Really, it was just feeding Charlie up by the house, so we could do it from the basement. Yeah. We didn't really need to. We didn't need to make a whole morning of it being chores. So I don't know. And then, Matt may need to start to not wear shorts out here. I think is the thing. And then for the birds, I give them the chickens. I give them some whole corn. Oh, <sighs> 
pigs are just eating away. One head in each bowl. They're finally figuring it out. <laughs> yeah, it only took how many months? <laughs> Charlie coming to cuddle with you? You want to carry him? I bet he's nice and warm. He is cold. You think he's cold? He's yeah. probably cold, but if you hold him, I bet his body's warm. Warm me up. I got to give him some hay. It looks like they're getting a little low. What they do is, as it gets cold, they will go in their little hut and they lay down and they just eat hay. Hey. I was wondering, how did we do morning chores last winter? And then I remembered we didn't have pigs. Yep. So, oh, I don't and we just had Charlie. That water. So, I mean, we checked on the chickens, made sure their water and food was good. But yeah, really, check on them every morning. right? Really, it was just feeding Charlie up by the house, so we could do it from the basement. Yeah. We didn't really need to. We didn't need to make a whole morning of it being chores. So I don't know. And then, Matt may need to start to not wear shorts out here. I think is the thing. And then for the birds, I give them the chickens. I give them some whole corn. Pigs are just eating away. One head in each bowl. They're finally figuring it out. <laughs> yeah, it only took how many months? <sighs> oh, is Charlie coming to cuddle with you? You want to carry him? I bet he's nice and warm. Oh, what you getting? I'm giving some pumpkins. See if they'll eat them. I know there's a bunch buried underneath the snow. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, they're probably mad all that down today. No, or no one's gonna complain about free range and pumpkins popping up. Last year we had some gourds pop up in the middle of the yard. Everyone's thrilled. <laughs> he probably wants to follow you right in the house. You think? Yeah. I've got my milk heating on the stove. Oh man, your sourdough is so active. <laughs> Got right on the cover there. So I double cover my sourdough starter because I was having trouble with the top layer getting hard even when I would be feeding it every day. Um, I, it is better if I feed it twice a day. I don't have that as big of a problem I'm thinking I should probably use some of this if it's hitting this. But anyways, I just pulled some out last night for bread. So I made, we have that loaf of bread that Matt baked this morning. So I really don't need it right now. But I always, I can always start a loaf of bread and then throw it in the freezer. And honestly that loaf I've been making, that's the um, soft overnight loaf. It has butter and honey in it. That one tends to be a little putsy and time consuming. So I usually only make one loaf at a time. But being my sourdough starter is doing so well, I've been really on feeding it twice a day. I could probably make two loaves of that tonight if I have the time. There's always a few things to do in the evening when the kids go to bed. And tonight I really need to catch up on folding laundry. Oh, came downstairs. Matt's got the wood stove going. It is so warm down here. It looks like Matt has a few things ready for me to take care of. So it is going to be a heavy packaging day today and I'll catch up with you sometime later. <laughs> All right, the kids are home from school, getting a snack. Leroy is having some peaches and thankfully he's taking it from this jar in the fridge. So for lunch, I pulled out some peaches for Eli and I went down to the root cellar and I saw this jar, you see that? And lo and behold, the top wasn't on. So I don't know if you can see that. Is this gross and yellow? You didn't look at it. <laughs> so it got moldy. So when people say it doesn't really matter if you take your rings off or not, I don't know. I'm glad I did. <laughs> that's our first failed seal that's been in the root cellar this year. And honestly, it's very rare that we get 
any. I think we've only had maybe two ever, three maybe, and nothing moldy like that. Like that is the absolute worst. So that will get thrown away so nobody eats it. <coughs> and um, the rest of our peaches are looking good. So it could have just been anything, you know, from just a faulty top to some food between here or maybe it just didn't get put on for whatever reason it was. And so I'm so glad that we do that store without the rings because before we knew better, we kept our rings on. And I don't know if I would have seen that. I mean, if the mold wasn't growing in there. All right, so I am using a jasmine rice. And if you guys, Matt and I are trying to up kind of our quality of some of the staple things we buy that we can't make grow ourselves, I have looked into growing wild rice. I don't think I ever will, but you never know. <laughs> Anyways, the jasmine rice is what we've been buying, and I'm not sure this is the best quality, so I'd love to hear your input on like what kind of rices are best. I wish we liked brown rice more, but yeah. So for the rice, I use four cups of rice to two quarts of broth, and I'm just rinsing the rice. Does everybody do this? Mom, there's I'm making supper. Matt's editing tomorrow's video. I'm trying to get a little bit ahead, but usually editing is kind of night before a video comes out. I'm going to grab a couple jars of broth. Check them all down here. Looking good. So I checked these broths just to be sure, you know, you're more alert with that stuff when you find something that wasn't sealed. And broth is one that I'm more likely to get an issue with, with all the grease. But we did check these pretty good before they went down there. There we go. Dump those. So I would like to season this right now, but I really want to get eating. So instead, I'm just going to put some salt in it because I know it's going to need salt. Stir it up and get it cooking. I'm making this in the Instant Pot. Make sure the bottom of my pan is dry. Since this is a quick release, I try to remember to keep the vent away from the cabinets. And there is a rice button, it says 12 minutes, so I don't use it usually. I just do 10, where is it? Of course it's like crazy high right now. I set it for 10 minutes and then I will manual release it when it beeps. All right, we're getting down to the end of our meat for the week. I've got a roast in here for tomorrow. That's the plan for tomorrow. Hopefully I remember to start in the morning. And then um, I'm gonna ground some hamburger for tonight. I just quick cleaned up this pan from lunch. It had um, just warmed up sandwiches in it. So we will I wiped it out and we'll use it again. Since I have some extra time, I pulled some onions out of the fridge and I'm going to cut those up to put in our hot dish. Extra time meaning everything's already cooking, so I have some time to cut up some fresh veggies. So awesome to still be eating those onions from the garden. I am going to put my onions right in my hamburger, even though it's not quite cooked all the way. I don't usually do that. In fact, I'd rather, excuse me, the remote control car going over my foot. I'd rather cook my veggies separately, but sometimes that's all right. The steak knife is not my preferred knife for cutting garlic, that's for sure. Again, I hardly ever mince garlic, but I have time. All right, just went off. There we go. <laughs> I thought about going down to the greenhouse and getting some spinach, but I didn't. So I pulled some out of the freezer and I'm just kind of letting it thaw here as I, I cut it up. I ran down to the root cellar, grabbed a jar of whole tomatoes. Usually I go more um, Asian flair when it comes to rice, but I don't know. We haven't had much for tomatoes other than like pizza and spaghetti. 
so I just wanted to switch it up. So I'm gonna dump this in with my rice rather than in my pan, because I don't wanna put tomatoes in my cap here. Yeah. If I would have been thinking, I would have set some of this rice aside. If I would have been thinking, hopefully I was thinking. If I would have been thinking a little clearer, I would have set some of this rice aside for another meal. But that's right. Oh, it turned out so good. I mean, you can't go wrong with a bunch of cheese and tomato. Mm. Yeah. All right. It's like, it's slightly similar to, what am I thinking? What is the... Slightly similar to Spanish rice, which I really love. So I'm kind of surprised. Like from, I'm kind of surprised by that because you would think you would need to have bacon for it to taste like Spanish rice. Glad you got to see us again. Bye.